As China continues its defiant attempts to colonize the contested islands in the East and South China Seas, the U.S. has kept showing its military might to deter such expansionist ambitions. The situation has remained critical for several years, but the global standoff took a spectacular turn in the summer of 2016 when the U.S. did something unprecedented. It deployed three of its most influential and iconic bombers to fly on the same mission. As the incredible footage shows, the Air Force Global Strike Command unleashed its three strategic bombers for the first time in history during the influential sortie. The iconic Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, the variable geometry Rockwell B-1 Lancer, and the one and only Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. Compared to tactical bombers, these specialized warplanes are designed to pierce enemy territory and deliver colossal amounts of payloads into the heart of an enemy nation to cripple its ability to wage war. Such an endeavor usually means carrying nuclear weapons. Ultimately, having the U.S. release its three-star strategic bombers in a single mission was more than a revolutionary endeavor. It was also a clear message for China. Unprecedented event. Recent photographs and footage captured a moment in which the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, the Rockwell B-1 Lancer, and the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit strategic bombers took to the sky together during the summer of 2016, the first time in history the iconic aircraft have cruised together. The warplanes performed the first coordinated mission in the U.S. Pacific Command Area of Operations, and after taking off from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, they conducted a flyover and then carried out simultaneous operations in the South China Sea and Northeast Asia. Each bomber represented a different age of American bomber technology and doctrine. Still, the three magnificent warplanes are still in service because each of them continues to provide the Air Force with specific advantages for a wide array of military operations. Brigadier General Douglas Cox, the 36th Wing Commander, said about the iconic moment, quote, by doing this, we showed the world we can expertly integrate three different platforms with unique capabilities, meeting mission by providing the President of the United States sovereign options to decisively employ air power across the entire spectrum of engagement, thus achieving our wing's motto, we are prepared to prevail. Each of the three platforms symbolized the ingenuity of American aircraft design and the raw power of the U.S. military across the span of almost 70 years. The unique strategic bombers were designed to bypass the defenses of enemy nations and wring destruction over their capitals and manufacture centers. It is widely believed that sending the three powerhouses on the same mission to fly over the regions contested by China was meant as an unprecedented show of force to remind the Chinese that the U.S. holds some of the most devastating bombers on Earth. Stratofortress The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress was the spiritual successor to the defining Boeing B-29 Superfortress, which became the first nuclear-age strategic bomber, and rewrote history by delivering the atomic bombs to Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. Following its predecessor's steps, the B-52 Stratofortress was designed exclusively as a long-range strategic bomber capable of delivering nuclear weapons to the very center of Moscow if the Cold War escalated. The aircraft was conceived in the 1940s and took its maiden flight in the early 1950s. It is the oldest of the three American strategic bombers, and it lacks much of the advanced stealth technology the other two have. Still, it has remained in service after 70 years due to its superb performance at high subsonic speeds and relatively low operating costs. During the Cold War, the Stratofortress became a central emblem of the nuclear deterrence policy. The aircraft was used to patrol the vast Europe-USSR borders to deter the Soviet Union from launching a nuclear attack on Europe, as the U.S. could retaliate immediately and with devastating effectiveness. As surface-to-air defense systems and advanced radar networks became prevalent in the Soviet Union, the B-52 became less capable of performing high-altitude missions. However, its incredible versatility allowed it to continue its deterrence role as a low-altitude bomber and as a conventional bomber after the fall of the Soviet Union. 
if the U.S. wanted to penetrate other nuclear superpowers and deliver nuclear warheads to their capitals, it would need to develop a new generation of strategic bombers capable of circumventing enemy defenses. The Bone The logical solution to create a new generation of long-range deep penetration bombers was simply to make them faster. If the warplanes could travel several times faster than the speed of sound, enemy missiles and fighters would be incapable of intercepting the bombers. As such, the U.S. began developing long-range supersonic bombers such as the North American XB-70 Valkyrie and the Rockwell B-1 Lancer, also known as the Bone. Ultimately, the Valkyrie would never see the light of day, but the B-1 Lancer would become one of the most important U.S. strategic bombers. The idea was simple to build a platform that would combine the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler with the range and payload capacity of the B-52, and then replace both bombers. Still, the Lancer project would be suddenly halted, as its highly developing costs and the simultaneous development of the B-2 stealth bomber rendered its role unjustifiable. However, when the B-2 was delayed in 1981, the Bowen was revisited to fill in for the delayed stealth bomber. The revised version of the Lancer could only reach Mach 1.25, but it was more stable and could achieve faster speeds during subsonic operations. The new redesigned bone was named B-1B, and it was converted to serve a conventional bombing role. The aircraft was initially deployed for combat during Operation Desert Fox in 1998, and again during the NATO operations in Kosovo against Yugoslavia the following year. It has continually supported U.S. and NATO military forces in Afghanistan and Iraq, with an inventory of over 40 models. The Stealth Bomber The B-1 was shelved and eventually turned into a conventional bomber because a more advanced aircraft was being developed by the U.S. Air Force. The aircraft would turn out to be the most expensive military project ever executed by the U.S., costing tens of billions of dollars just in research and development. With each individual aircraft priced at over $2 billion, and each flight hour costing over $100,000 in maintenance, training, and execution costs. The B-2 bomber took a very different approach to the B-1. Instead of trying to sidestep Soviet defenses with raw speed, it made use of the recently developed stealth technology, which allowed it to appear almost invisible to enemy radars. The new approach was not only better, but essential, as by 1980, the Soviets had developed much faster air defense systems and interceptor fighters that could intercept American bombers, even if they were supersonic. However, the enemy could not attack what it could not see, so the monumentally ambitious B-2 venture became the logical solution to America's strategic bomber problem. With its unique geometry and shape, its electromagnetic absorbing materials, and emissions masking technologies, the B-2 aircraft was the ultimate bomber in the world, and it remains unmatched to this day. Despite the billions of dollars poured into the project and the continuous delays it suffered, the Soviet Union collapsed just a couple of years after the B-2 was deployed, suddenly taking away the stealth bomber's reason for being. Still, the iconic U.S. bomber was modified to serve as a conventional bomber, quickly becoming the most survivable aircraft in the world, as it was virtually undetectable. With such commanding capabilities, it became a formidable asset for the U.S. military during Operation Desert Storm and the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. Despite its high cost, the stealth bomber has proved to be a wise investment, with two bombers able to deal the same damage as dozens of conventional tactical bombers, all remaining virtually untouchable. Now, the stealth bomber, the supersonic Lancer, and the original strategic bomber are ready to deploy together and take advantage of all their technology, armament, and crew training to obliterate America's enemies at a moment's notice. The historic photographs of the three aircraft flying together are a decisive show of strength from the Air Force Global Strike Command and a clear message to China, one of the only two nations with strategic bombers in the world. The U.S. will do everything to protect its allies in the region, and it has at its disposal the most powerful bombers in the history of mankind.
Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. And for more amazing military-themed content, click on your screen and check out another of our Duck Documentaries channels, where we publish new content regularly. Stay tuned.